Hi guys, in this video we are going to go over how to do the worksheet that is there. And we're going to do it for the chicken in the library story. So, if you have a printout of the worksheet then you're a step ahead. For those who can't, don't have a printer or who can't print it out, then we're going to do it on a blank piece of paper and we're just going to draw in the boxes. So, follow me as I do this. Um, the first thing we're going to draw is the mountain. It looks like a mountain. So we're going to draw the first line and a little bit of a slant. Then you're going to go up high and then you're going to go down and then you're going to go down low. Okay. Now I'm going to add something there. So if you have a worksheet, pay attention. I'm going to add a little line right there and I'm going to add a little line right there. So make sure if you're doing it on a blank sheet of paper, you have this little line, a big mountain up, a big mountain down, and then a flat line over here. Then put a line right here and a line right here, okay? We're gonna ignore the little dotted thing. You don't have to copy that. Ignore the little dotted thing. But we're gonna make the other five boxes. So, other five boxes, and I'm gonna put a one right there. And then the next box is right here. Two. And then the little box is right here under the mountain. Three. Uh, the next one is four. And we'll put it right here. And five. Okay. So this is what your paper should look like. We've got the mountain up, flat, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now, what we're gonna put in these is we are gonna break down the chicken in the library story, all right? So, first of all, this is called the exposition. So this little slant, this part, of the mountain is called the exposition. So I'm going to write it right here. Exposition. Exposition. E-X-P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N. And we're going to put number one. So number one in the exposition is the place. So where does this occur? in the library right so we're going to write in the library very good number two the time all right this takes place over the course of several hours right the chicken goes and reads a book and he comes back an hour later he goes and reads the next book he comes back two hours later then the next one is seven hours later so it's about one day or the course of several hours. And you write that, okay? And then the next thing I wanna know is what is the inciting incident? So this right here is the inciting incident, this line that stops and makes the mountain shoot up. So what is the thing that triggers this story? So he walks into the library and he talks about how there's people, there's books, there's a library on her, on her computer, and then he turns, and what does he see? There's a chicken in the library, right? So the inciting incident is when he sees the chicken in the library. So it's when he sees it, he's like, what is this? This is not normal. We don't usually see chickens in the library. All right, step two. We are now on the steep upward incline of the mountain, okay? This is called the rising action. So I'm gonna put rising action right here. Rising action up the mountain, okay? So this is number two. So in box two, what is the story pattern? All right, so one of the questions I asked you to watch out for is what's the story pattern, all right? And I'm gonna help you guys figure this out. So, first of all, the librarian says, excuse me, what do you want to the chicken? Then the chicken says, book, 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 right? So 
So the chicken says, I want a book. And then the librarian says, you want a book? And then the chicken leaves with the book. She gives him the Harry Potter book. The chicken leaves with it and comes back in an hour. So if we take that as our story pattern, because that's something that repeats over and over, is the librarian talks to the chicken and asks what he wants. The chicken says, book, book, book. Then the librarian says, you want a book? And then the chicken leaves with the book and comes back. And then the pattern repeats. Then the chicken says, the librarian says, what do you want? Book, book, book. You want a book? And then the chicken leaves with the book and comes back and asks for it again. So if we say that, then the pattern is going to be A, B, C, D. All right? So at the A, we're going to write, what do you want? That's what the librarian says. B is the chicken says, book, book, book. And C, the chick or the librarian says, you want to book? And she gives him the book. So I'm going to write gives book. And then D, the chicken leaves and comes back. So chicken leaves, reads book, and comes back. And that pattern repeats over and over. So A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. All right, I'm gonna bring you a little closer so you can see what I've written. All right, A, B, C, D. All right, now the climax, the most exciting moment. So this happens, this pattern A, B, C, D happens about four times, right? The library gives the librarian gives the chicken a book. He leaves. He comes back. He says book, 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 and he wants more another book. So this little line up here is the climax number three. And we'll write it in the box. Climax. What's the most exciting thing? It's when the librarian turns and follows the chicken. This time she doesn't let him leave and come back. She turns and follows the chicken and then she sees him cross the bridge. We're still in the rising action right now. She sees him cross the bridge and then she sees him hand the book to the frog. And what does the frog say? He says, read it, read it, read it, right? And so in this case, the climax is also called a punchline. All right, so it's when the frog says read it and we understand what this whole story has been leading up to. And then the falling action, these two things, the storyteller just says, and that's the story. That's the story of the chicken in the library. So numbers four and five is just the end right okay so for your chicken in the library story this is what your sheet should look like and on number five we're gonna add what was the punchline did it did it really have a moral it didn't really have a moral did it but it did have a punchline and that was read it, read it. So this story was a funny story. It was a joke, right? It was a funny story. All right, so now that you know how to fill out this worksheet, go and do it for your story that you're gonna tell because the more detailed and specific you can break down the story, the better you're going to be able to tell it. And we want to get your stories really awesome so we can put them in our fall storytelling festival.